all and welcome to Paracord Reviews. This week we're going to talk about a subject that actually is being searched on on YouTube a lot and that is Paracord survival bracelets. Maybe it's due to the cooler weather, people are out hiking more, uh, deer season's coming up in many states. Uh, maybe that's why, but this is a popular topic. I thought I'd give my two cents on it, the do's and don'ts. So. Before I go though, if you like this content, please like and subscribe down below. And if you would consider supporting this channel by using the Amazon link below for any Amazon purchases, that I'll get a little bit of referral money and that helps go to me buying the various items. So let's get started. First off, you know, paracord's useful. It's not just cool because it's a lot of different colors but it can be used in a lot of different ways. And for those of you who are new to all this, uh, you could use it for uh, you know, making a sling, making a tourniquet if necessary, uh, a brace if you hurt your leg or anything like that. You can use it to make shelter. Um, for the extremely creative, you can even use it for things like uh, fishing or things like that. So there's a lot of uses for it. <clears throat> but there's a lot of things that uh, people do that they think they're getting survivalist gear and they're really not. So first let's talk about uh, survivalist paracord. There's really two different types. There is just standard paracord. So this is just standard paracord. Um, this is a uh, Paracord Planet, I believe, and this is just standard paracord that you would purchase seven string or seven strand, nylon, etc. Same with this. This is tough, uh, tough grid, and seven strand, what have you. This is uh, also Paracord Planet, so it's standard things. But you can also get the stuff out there like the um, uh, PS Cook that has a fishing line in it, or it will have something like this, which is a fire starter. So, you know, you have those options out there. Uh, but then, so that, that's one thing. The other piece is you can get like with this, where it is a buckle that has a whistle, has a little knife or saw right here, and then it also has a flint. Let's see if I can get this to... So, and you can use that for a fire, to start a fire as well. So, first thing we gotta talk about though is the weave that you use. I have seen out online a lot of survival, and I'm using air quotes here, survival paracord bracelets that look just like this. They might have a buckle on it and it could be like this, but they're like this. This is your standard cobra weave. For ornamental, I love cobra weave, but for survivalist, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And here's why. It takes a lot to get undone. So this is the Mad Max style. It's just, you know, no buckle. So you can have, you would have a single uh, strand here, but if you needed this in an emergency, it's gonna take you a long time to get it apart. That is why the Cobra is not ideal for any type of survival paracord uh, bracelet. So I'm gonna just chuck that over here. Then that leaves these two. This is, what I use for Operation Gratitude uh, to go out for the military. This is a very good and simple, if you don't want to buckle, uh, type of um, bracelet because all you have to do to undo it or to get this paracord, and this would give you, this bracelet here would give you eight feet plus of paracord, depending on how tightly you wound it. All you have to do, as you can see, there's a piece right here. You 
work this stuff down and you can slip this out of a knot and unwind it and within a matter of a minute you can have eight feet of paracord ready for you. This is a very good option and I'll put a link in the uh, co a first comment below with uh, instructions on how you can do this. But this is a very good option. If you don't want to buckle, if you just want something very basic that you can kind of just throw on and you can see here, you just slip it through, wham, bam, done. You got a nice looking bracelet. If you wanted to go with something that had the fire starter and the fishing line in it, this is a very good option. It's very easy to do. It may be a little bit thicker or may be a little bit uh, bigger as far as width, but it's a good option for you. The other option is if you wanted a buckle. So with the buckle, if you go with um, a, a one like this, you have the whistle. Some have a compass. Most have the fire starter and the little blade that you can also use to, to start. Uh, I've seen some that even have like a little compartment here that you can put a fishing hook into or something of that nature. Uh, so you can go online. They're all over Amazon. They're all over eBay. You can find them. But the advantage of this one is I use the Conquistador. And for you longtime followers, you know this is what I use for my belts too. With the Conquistador, I can pop this out right here. Now this is just glued. I can work that out if I got a knife or a Leatherman or whatever. I pop that out and anybody who was worked with the Conquistador knows you can unravel this entire thing in a matter of a minute or two. With the Conquistador that has three like this, every one, point, one inch equals 1.65 feet. So what does that mean? For this very one, okay, this has eight inches of paracord. So eight times 1.65, that is, that's like 12 feet. This would be 12 feet plus a paracord. So this gives you more paracord. So if you think you need more, uh, this and you want to go with the, the buckle, then this gives you a better option. This one, this gives you about eight feet, no buckle, very slim. This is a little bigger and bulkier. Something else that you may want to think about though too. Do you want to be seen? Even for hunters, if you're up in a deer stand or what have you, there's one thing we all need and that's a little bit of orange. So you can easily go with a color like this, a hunter's orange, and you can go and put, do either one of these in a hunter's orange, and then you can at least be seen. But if you're, if you're okay with being camouflaged, go with a camouflage, go with a brown or even a black. But um, you have to use a single strand if you're going to do this. And I would suggest go, don't cheap out. Go with a higher quality. Go with the Atwood, go with the Paracord Planet, go with the Tough Grid. Go with, um, go with a higher quality. Because if your life is gonna depend on this stuff, spend a little bit extra money. For you guys out there who are making these, I say the same thing. Uh, spend a little bit extra money, get a high quality paracord, it's worth it for you, for your friends, for your customers. So that's it for this week. Thanks for everybody, thanks for all the new subscribers. And if you have any ideas on, a com on a, something I ought to, ought to review or look into, Leave a comment down below, but until next time, keep paracording. Later.